Hey, Mike here. So we have big news from Microsoft Copilot. They just released Copilot Pro and it includes priority access to the latest model, GPT-4 Turbo. It allows you to access Copilot in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and OneNote. 100 creations a day with designer which is dolly 3 and then of course the ability to build your own copilot gpt so all of this for the price of 20 bucks a month the exact same price mind you as chat gpt let's take a look at this little promo video here so world-class creation here you have the user in creative mode create an image of a mood board for a home decor blogger and it creates exactly that. So this is what they mean by having access to designer. You can prompt anything within the chat and you will have the image come up. You have GPT Builder. Looking at this interface, I'm not really a big fan of it. Maybe I'm just too accustomed to the ChatGPT interface. So yeah, I mean, this is heavily, heavily relying on selling this to users who use the Microsoft suite in the first place, all of the Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, all of the Office apps, basically. This is really cool, by the way. So it scans your previous emails and it somehow, I'm not sure how this happens, but it deduces which emails that you've received in the past have something to do with the current email that you are responding to. And it does say here, AI generated content may be incorrect. So maybe it picks up something that has nothing to do with the current project you are talking about here but for the most part it does seem like uh, the results are pretty good i can't wait to see this in a more real use case scenario because of course these things are all planned out when they showcase these features so here you have something like draft blog post about sustainable design. Again, I'm not sure if this is just generating from just this sentence or if it's actually going into your other documents, referencing them, analyzing, for example, your writing style. Something like that would be much, much better than just drafting a blog post about sustainable design with no other context surrounding it. So again, this is something that is either a make it or break it for me personally, because if it does take any context any additional context then i could just type this into chat gpt and have the same result so they're faster than ever help me write a plan to grow my followers for my instagram home decor i mean yeah this is just typical this is just showing off chat gpt in my opinion copilot pro your everyday ai companion again this would be amazing if it does actually take into account your personal data otherwise it's just a repackaged chat gpt in my opinion and as this person paul covert which this is the tweet from this individual he mentions in the end that all the features of chat gpt plus in addition to microsoft 365 copilot that's what this is in short and yeah i couldn't agree more here now with this is some disappointing news unfortunately the past few videos I've made talk about Bing and Copilot, which previously offered GPT-4 access for free. Now, unfortunately, it seems like they are going to limit the free use of GPT-4, and they're only going to open it up to users during non-peak times, whatever that means. Yeah, I was about to say whatever that means, but you beat me to it, Ethan Mollick. So here you can see this is the free version of Copilot on the left-hand side, and then on the right-hand side, you have Copilot Pro. So free version, you have access, GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo during non-peak times. Again, what does this mean? 2 a.m. in the U.S.? 4 a.m.? Who knows what non-peak times are? And again, is this a regional thing? This is very, very vague, and I'm sure it's vague on purpose. Now, you're still able to use text, voice, and images in the conversational search, so that doesn't seem like it's changing. You're able to create images, oops, 15 images a day with Designer, and you're still able to use plugins and GPTs, which that is a big difference between Copilot and ChatGPT. On the free version of ChatGPT, you cannot use plugins nor GPTs. So personally, I think that between the two, when it comes to the free version, Copilot wins. If you have to decide between between using Copilot and ChatGPT's free version when it comes to text generation, definitely use Copilot. Even if you don't have the correct timing to use GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo, you're still able to use plugins and GPTs and create images and use images in your conversational search. So a lot of benefits here when it comes to the comparison of two free versions. Now, Copilot Pro, on the other hand, you have priority access to GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo. Again, this is very vague to me. What does priority access mean? Does that mean that I am always, no matter what, going to be able to use GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo? Or are there still going to be slowdown times, but I'm going to be what's called priority? That's a bit confusing. Is there a messaging cap of how often I can message and utilize ChatGPT? Again, lots of questions here. You're able to use 
use Copilot in Microsoft 365 apps to draft documents, summarize emails, create presentations. I wonder what the difference is between this is and use plugins and GPTs. Can't you use plugins to connect to your Microsoft 365 apps unless they specifically disable that or don't allow that to happen, maybe? That's an interesting comparison. And last but not least, you're able to create AI images, but this time you have 100 boosts per day instead of just 15 with the free version. So that's all okay, in my opinion. For 20 bucks a month, again, if you're already using ChatGPT and you're paying the premium version there, I don't see any good reason to switch over over to Copilot Pro instead. As always, thank you so much for watching. Special thank you to all of my Patreon members here, and I will see you again in the next video.